A good afternoon slash evening wood butchers. Well, I came home and the termite had this for me. Canada Post dropped this off at my door this morning. Pretty excited. Ralph and the crew over at benchdogs.co.uk sent me something. Yeah, they didn't give it to me. I had to buy it and pay for it. But they had a sale, so I saved a little bit of extra money. It's all good. So this is the um, fence rail system that I'd ordered for this lovely table here. So there's been a couple minor issues. Uh, and why I haven't posted in a while is, number one is that uh, the motherboard on my main computer I use, well, it, uh, it died. So I've been scrambling the last couple weeks to uh, trying to get that back up and running and had to completely rebuild the whole system because all my components were just one generation old enough that I couldn't get a new motherboard for it and some other parts weren't compatible uh, all the D RAM I had was DDR3 and now it's all DDR4 and yada 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 so you know unfortunately had to rebuild a computer I almost had that fully fixed up and ready to go on Sunday and my iPhone X died so it's been a really tough time I did get the news at 444 on Sunday that uh, my my phone had passed and was beyond repair Apple guys were really good gave me all the good stuff they tried everything but even CPR and and uh, some shock therapy nothing couldn't work um, so now I got this to play with and I'm really excited so let's see what's going on uh, termite did take off the end cap because um, she was curious, but uh, I told her to stop and we're gonna see what's in here. So number one is that this It's solid. Its packaging is nice. Uh, it got from the UK to Canada About a week and uh, No issues tracking was good. They said parcel to go. I think it's a US uh, or not US a UK company so Number one, I bought a bunch of knobs, so they came in. They're eight millimeter. Eight millimeter bolts are kind of hard to find locally, and I don't live close to a place. So I thought I'd get a few of those, so four of those came. Those look good. Oh, out of frame. That's okay. Uh, what's next? Okay, so I got an extra set of um, the bench dogs. Um, or not uh, fence dogs. These are fence dogs. So what they have is they're um, going to be able to allow you to put a fence up against this. So this will, I don't know what this screw is for. I'll have to figure that out. Oh, they, I think they come with five and six millimeter. Anyways, so they're going to allow you to hook up a fence on there. So I have some Incra fences. So I'm pretty excited to give that a shot and give it a go. Oh, that's right. These you can use either a uh, just a bolt or you can use a thumb screw. So that's kind of nice that you can use both depending on what you want. If you're short on distance, you can just use the small bolt with an Allen head. And uh, or you, if you got lots of room and you just want something quick that you can move around, you got these guys. So I'm going to see if they work. I might need to get a new uh, new pin for it, but we'll see. Uh, the standard card, good, all right. I was hoping they could give me 100% off anything I wanted in the future, but unfortunately not yet. Okay, so I also got some of these. These allow you to use your track saws on one of these systems with some special things. So we're going to put this in the corner here because I'm going to hopefully find those. Ah, here we go. So these are special fence or special dogs that will utilize these little guys these go in your track and then these tighten down and then you can hold that track down onto the table and have it spaced so you get your nice 90 degrees and we have the uh, shop dog Rex he's found that knob on the floor and very interested and thankfully he left it alone so that's good so anyways I have these for both the Rex out thank you 
Uh, I have these for both the DeWalt and the Festool tracks. Nice machined aluminum. Um, they got the little ridges so you know how high. I think there's some B collar somewhere I have in this thing. I hope. Um, so it'll allow it to ride up and down with stock underneath. Those are nice. Okay, so I got uh, some silicon pads. I got some of the um, pads for doing painting and finishing. Um, the little bench, mini bench dogs. So these are the ones that help hold stuff up off. Oh, there we go. We got a couple bee collars. Perfect, perfect. I like that. This is part of the fence system, I am assuming. Let's see what we got here. Oh, sorry. Hit the phone. Actually, the camera here. Boring, boring. Okay, yeah, this is a little extensor. I'll do a little bit more in-depth uh, component of it later on, but this extends the uh, fence out so you can get uh, basically a, a zero cut, nice and easy. There's a lot of good videos. I think uh, Wood Grafter has a really good video on how to use uh, this. Also, 10 Minute Workshop, he's got some really good stuff on it, so good. It's all in good shape. Okay, we got another set of the uh, fence dogs. I got two sets mainly because of the Incra fence I'm going to use and then this one. So that way I can actually set up two fences in two different parts of this big worktop to do multiple things at the same time if I'm doing setup or, or that type of thing. Or if I'm going to be doing setup and needing something to push up against, I don't mind messing up the Incra, whereas I don't want to be messing up this guy. Uh, I got a small set of the small rail dogs. Why? I don't know. I just thought, well, I'll see how they work. I'm going to give them both a try and see if, uh, if I like the big ones or little ones. Little ones don't seem to have as much taper on the end as the big ones, so trying to get it in perfectly. They have just more of a chamfer, but I think these are the fest tool. So you can see these are a bit different than these ones. Uh, if you can look at the thickness. One's for Festool, one's for DeWalt, not sure which is which. And I got another set of those because I am always good at losing something, so I figured for the five or six or ten or twelve dollars or whatever, it doesn't hurt to have a couple sets. Uh, what do we got here? This, oh, I think, yeah, this is another part of the fence, so it comes nicely packaged up. Yeah, this is a rail that attaches that little extension. Comes with a little Allen wrench. And then this is a mini dog for having nice flush stuff. So again, I may show how it works later on, but uh, looks good. I like this. Okay, uh, this is a flip stop. So that's good. Uh, that came all together. It looks 3D printed. You know, I, I always think it's a little cheesy if they're going to 3D print stuff rather than, you know, have a dedicated mold. But I know how expensive the molds are and this should be more than adequate for what I need. Alright, we got a few of these here. So I got a couple different things. So I got the, the dogs for painting on and that type of thing. I also got these mini dogs. And I believe they have, with the pad, about a three millimeter uh, elevation off of the top. So if I'm gonna do some work, some glue up, or something where I don't wanna be scratching up and messing up the top here, I can just put these down into the dog holes. They have little silicone pads. Oh, they're sticky too, nice. Um, little silicone pads that will go on it. Uh, they all came off of one or two of them, oh well. Uh, and, uh, it keeps things from moving around, so that's kind of a neat little setup. Yeah, or they, it looks like they just stuck the pads on here. I don't know what the heck they did. I'll figure that out. And we got another set of those. Oh, apparently another set. Actually, Bench Dogs was really good. There was some stuff after I made my first order that I wasn't quite so sure on, and uh, so I added some things in, and, and they helped me out. Ah, here are the big ones. These are for when you're doing um, bigger stuff and you need more of an offset or say you're doing painting, you want to, maybe it's some paper underneath the edge um, and you want to elevate it up so you can get up the edges and, and that type of thing. These are nice and beefy. Nicely machined faces and everything. 
and these bigger sticker pads sit on top of those so that should be good kind of feels like Christmas when you're opening up the stocking and again another set of the bigger dogs And that's all that's in the, the small stuff. And then we have the rail system. And let's make sure it's the right one. I got the Imperial. I like metric, but uh, everything we have here, everything in the shop is Imperial. And because my Incra table saw fence is in Imperial, I didn't want to start messing units around, especially when I'm trying to do stuff this way and that way. So kept it all that way. Nicely packaged, I gotta say. All really nicely packaged. Oh, oh my goodness. So, again, nice angle iron. A Little bit of chunder from uh, where they cut it off. That's okay. Looks like a nice clean, uh, clean cut though. Just having a closer look here. They are not laser etched or, or even machine etched. This is screened on. So that's a little bit of a concern for me. Because I, you know, if you get, uh, if you get uh, like acetone or some type of paint thinner or whatever on here, that could disappear. So these are, yeah, they're in inches. It looks good. But yeah, I'd, I'd really like to see that etched on. I'd even pay a little bit more for that. But I also thought, you know, by the videos, this would be a bit taller. It's not. I'm okay with that. You know, it's going to do everything I need it to do. Again, this is for cutting wider panels. Um, I have a custom ceiling I'm going to do in the basement. And this is really what this is all about. And I'm practicing getting ready to do it so that when I do go to it, I'm not going to have to spend my time working on it. Woodworking is like any activity. You have to practice, you have to do it. And I've just learned that over the last you know, couple months when I'm doing more of these videos and some of the other stuff, you gotta do it. You gotta keep practicing, you gotta keep your fingers there, you gotta learn how to get the saw, push it nice and even. Uh, if you're using a jigsaw, how to you know move your wrist. I'm in healthcare, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a physio by trade, but I love woodworking. But when I'm learning myself, it's like teaching somebody else a skill teaching them how to exercise, teaching them how to move. You got to practice it. So just like with other things, when life is challenging, when you need other stuff, go out and practice your woodworking. Hack stuff up, butcher it up. Who cares? Who cares what it looks like? You're practicing your skills, you're getting better, and you're going to have fun at it. So anyways, this is all the uh, new toys I got today. Um, I'm going to have a lot of fun putting it all together. I'm hoping to show more of this. Hopefully I'll get it a little bit more work done on the weekend. For sure, I'm going to get the edging on and probably finish the top before I start drilling holes because uh, it's just going to be easier that way to get it all finished up. Then drill the holes. That way, I'm not going to have to worry about uh, the finish going down in. If I'm worried about stuff in the holes, I can always hit it with a little bit of wax or something like that. But uh, if I drill the holes and then finish the top... If anything gets in the edge, then it's going to be harder for these dogs and stuff to go in. And then how am I going to deal with that then? Do I ream it out? How do I ream it out? I don't know. It gets to be a bit of an issue. So I've always, you know, typically finished first and then done the other stuff after. Anyways, thanks a lot for coming along for the ride. I'm excited. I'll give you more stuff coming up. Have a great evening.